Uh, next, I want to talk about the first assignment, A1, which is Hello World. Hello World is a traditional computer science or software development thing that we do. Um, and you'll, you'll find that the technology world, if you haven't noticed already, is full of weird little traditions. But traditionally, the first thing you do to test out any new programming language is create a Hello World program, which basically involves having the computer say Hello World in that, in that programming language. The reason we do that is because it's the most basic thing that you can do pretty much in any computer programming language. So Hello World is the first assignment for this class. And the idea isn't really that you're going to learn a whole lot of programming by doing Hello World. The idea is more that you're going to learn the process of creating a Python file in PyCharm, writing some code, saving that file, and then uploading it to the Canvas website. So I'm gonna open PyCharm right now. And we're gonna look at how to do the Hello World assignment. Okay, so this is PyCharm in the most basic mode. It's got lots of little different panes and windows and things that will open up as we do different things. But right now we're gonna start at the most basic mode. And this is my Python project. When you create a new Python project, it will have some folders over here. Yours will be a little bit different because I've got some extra stuff here. But at the very top, it's called the root folder of the project, the main folder. If I right click on that, or if you're using a Mac, you might command click on that. And I choose new, and then I choose Python file. It'll ask me to name the Python file, and I'm gonna name that a1.py. And it will give me this blank coding window with number one. Okay, so each of the lines of code here is gonna be numbered down the left-hand side. Very useful for communicating it. That way I can say, hey, on line 13, you forgot to indent or something like that. You can see the file name is a1.py and you can see the file appears here in my list of folders. All important to remember for later. So now I'm just gonna write some code and I'm gonna start out with our very first function. A function in Python is a command that does something. It can be very complex or it can be very simple, but a function essentially, I'm gonna try and make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. There we go. Grandma print edition, here we go. Um, so a function, you can tell is a function because it has parentheses after it. Every single function always has parentheses, period, full stop. Okay, so print, the print function is a very simple function. It's probably one of the most commonly used functions in Python. And all it does is print something to the console. What that something is could be a variety of things. It could be a variety of different data types. It can be a variety of uh, things like numbers. It could be an object. It could be a list. I know we don't know what all of those things are yet, but you will later. Uh, most commonly though, what we're printing is a string. A string is an interesting data type because on one hand it's very simple. It is just what it is. What you see in the middle of the quotes is there, that's it. There's nothing hidden or uh, subversive about it. It's just whatever's in the middle of those quotes. And in Python, they can be single quotes or double quotes. I prefer double personally. Um, but inside those quotes, whatever I write is what's gonna get printed. So I'm gonna write hello world. And it's gonna print hello world. So that is the whole code for A1. Print, and then in quotes, hello world. Now when I run this assign, when I run this code, if I want to test my program, I'm gonna right click or command click on the background, and I'm gonna choose run A1. You can see there's a hotkey equivalent over here. Lots of good hotkeys in this program, but I'm gonna show you the slowest way possible so I don't outrun everybody. We're going to run A1. And what you can see here is that 
what pops up here is three lines of text. The first one looks a little bit like gibberish, but upon closer inspection, what you'll see about this first line is that it's the location of the script on your computer. Okay, so it's the path to the script that you just run. So basically it's saying, here's what you're running. The next line says, hello world, which is just what I told the program to write. And then after the program finishes running, it'll insert a couple of blank lines, and then it will give you a message that looks like this, where it says processed finished with exit code zero. What that means is your program has stopped running. It's done everything it's supposed to do. It's no longer running, and exit code zero means there were no errors in your program. Now, for example, if I add to this print function the plus 10, you can see already syntax highlighting. We have different colored things here, but obviously this is highlighted. Uh, and the reason that it's highlighted is that PyCharm does not like this. PyCharm will tell you when it doesn't like something by highlighting it or underlining it in red. Sometimes it does underlines in yellow, which is sort of like a caution or, hey, you might want to think about this. Um, but in this case, it highlights it uh, plus 10 because, um, well, what? who knows the answer to hello world as string plus 10? Yes. Well, you can't do either because this, you can't add a string, you can't add a number to a string. It's not something you can do. And in, in PyCharm or in Python, data types are kind of a big deal. There are languages that would print hello world exclamation point 10. There are some languages that would do that. Python is not one of them. What Python says is, hey, you can't add a number to a string that doesn't make sense. So I'm going to throw an error. So when I run this, we will no longer have exit code zero. Instead, it's printing an error. And it would run right up to the point in time where it encounters the error. In this case, error is on line one, so it doesn't do anything except give me an error. But I want to point out that when PyCharm encounters an error when you run it, it gives you some really useful information. It tells me where the line is that produced the error. Now, this can be a little deceiving depending on the complexity of the program and, and where the, what kind of error it is. But a lot of times that's a useful clue as to where to start. So line one, oh yeah, I messed up there. It tells you line one or the error, the part of the code that produced the error. And it also tells you what kind of error, because there are different types of errors. So a type error says, can only concatenate string to a string, not int. This is telling me the data types here. It says you can only put two strings together. So in this case, it would allow me, if I said that, notice the highlighting goes away. I, it'll, it will allow me to add two strings together because it can just smush them together. That's what concatenate means. But it will not allow me to add an int, an integer, to a string. Now, we're going to learn about data types and variables on Thursday. So that'll make even more sense. But the, the bottom line here, error code 1, exit code means, exit code 1 means that I had an error in my program. So now I'm going to rerun that just to make sure, okay, it's once I have a good successful run of the program, I'm gonna make sure I save it. 